Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In this demo we are going to see about Azure AD register and Azure AD join. We will see how to register personal devices to Azure AD. We will also see how to join organization device to Azure AD and we will also discuss about cell service password reset and authentication method. So let's get started. So friends we are on our Azure portal now and if you navigate to Azure Active Directory you can see the tenant information the global administrator and the license is Azure AD Premium 2 and then tenant ID and the primary domain is I signed up with my email address so it gave me primary domain as my email address dot on microsoft.com you can create a custom domain as well and in order to do that you can just go go here in the custom domain and I added my custom domain like techiejack.online as well if you want to add your domain you can just click on add custom domain and here you can just type your domain and you have to verify the domain how you can verify the domain it will ask you to add some records in your DNS so let me show you what they asked for what I did they asked for this txt record and the content was ms equal to ms8174219 and I added this record and once I added this record after that my domain was verified so if we talk about the device if we see the device here we have no device here right now we don't have a device and let me go to the users we have four users this is my default user and you cannot delete this user you can see this is a primary user through which I have created this account but if you uh, take the action on this one you can delete other account even you can delete all these account in a one go but you cannot delete this the primary the global administrator account so let's go to our device and let's try to register our device first registering means a user have their personal laptop or personal devices and they can uh, work from home they can work in an office but they they carry their own devices that is called BYOD bring your own device and if you have a Microsoft 365 apps you can just sign in with that and you will get all the single sign on feature with your own device so let's go to the device and if you see the name of this device you see the personal PC it can be a laptop or any other device in order to register you have to just go to the settings accounts access work or school account here you can see the plus sign you can just click on that plus sign and let me put the email address gmail dot on microsoft microsoft dot com and it's asking for the password let me put my password and if it's a newly created user it might ask you to reset your password and put a new password again here we can see you are all set we have added your account successfully now you have access to your organization apps and services if you don't have active directory on premises you can use this feature so we are done with this so let me click on done and now the account has been added successfully let me close this and let's go to our Azure portal once again and let's see if this device is registered there or not so let me go to the default directory once again and if we see the device you can see the device personal PC is there and it is enabled and if you want to disable this device you have an option to disable this device by disabling this device the user will not able to log in with the credentials let me go back in a directory so now if we go to the users once again and we see the user jack2 is there and by this email address we will try to join a device with Azure AD so let's go to our second device and you can see the computer name of this device let's say office PC so let me close this click on settings accounts again with the access work or school account click on connect 
if you remember the previous option like registering a device with Azure AD we just put the email address and click on next and we were successfully registered with Azure AD account but in order to join with the Azure Active Directory you can see the option here join this device to Azure Active Directory these action will set up the device as your organization and give your organization full control over this device so let me try this option and we will sign in with the jack2 at my email address gmail dot on microsoft.com and we'll click on next asking me for the password let me put the password see we have an option here make sure this is your organization and if you continue system policies might be turned on or other changes might be made to your PC is this the right organization if this is the right organization you can click on join the connecting to this domain and username is this and type is administrator so let me click on join you are all set the device is connected to default directory click on done so now we have joined our device to Azure Active Directory you have to note one thing in this whole scenario like registering a device means you can get the single sign on for your Microsoft 365 apps on your personal devices and joining a device means you have an organization PC you can also get a single sign on for all the Microsoft 365 applications and more granular control and Azure AD will change the state of your device so let's go back to our Azure AD and let's see if this device is joined as a Azure AD account or not so let me go to the default directory once again and if you see the devices now you can see the office PC is Azure joined and the personal PC is Azure AD registered if we click on this we again we have the same option like manage disable and if you integrate it with the Intune you have more granular control uh, with these these devices let me bring to the home directory again and if you see this password reset option you can see the self-service password reset enabled SSPR you can see that is SSPR in most of the companies large majority of helpless call is to the request to reset the password so enabling the self-service password reset it gives the user a kind of a ability to bypass the help desk and reset their own passwords and to configure the self reset password you must first determine who will be enabled like who can reset their own passwords so you can create a group and you can select here uh, you can see the selected option you can select the group right now there is no group we will create the group later so if you have a group you can select the group and you can enable self-service password request for those particular users which lies in that particular group and the, we have the authentication method as well it's saying you're unsaved okay after enabling the password reset for the user and groups you can pick the number of authentication method required to reset the password and the number of authentication method available to users or uh, at least there should be one authentication method is required to reset the password but it is good idea if you have a two like you can see the number of methods required to reset is one that can be email or phone if you select the number of method are two you can say mobile app notification or mobile phone code and let's disable this so now you must enable two additional method to use mobile app notification and mobile app or hardware token code so you can click on email and mobile phone as well now we have set the number of two methods to require the password so this is a security and if someone knows your security question answer still you will be getting some uh, mobile app code so that uh, it can protect your account so that's it for this uh, demonstration and let's meet in our next video so friends, if you found the video informative, do subscribe the channel and also check out some other video links on the screen.